Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen, you're watching Stitch Repeat, and today is a Friday Sews. So I'm gonna start off with a fabric that was gifted to me. So obviously all transparent here on the channel. The lovely Lucy from Lucy Locket Fabrics got in touch with me on Instagram and asked me if I would like to choose one of her fabrics for her to send and that she would then appreciate if I did a review of her website and her fabrics on my channel. So I hopped on over to have a look because obviously I'm only going to support a business that I like. However, the fact that she sells fabrics, I was fairly certain I was going to like her website. And of course, I did, in fact, love it. So I said, yes, please. I've already had a look and that I knew what fabric I would like. And could I have some and share it with you lovely guys here? So Lucy has been running her fabric shop for just about a year now. And she also sells patterns, including I noticed from my favourite pattern companies, which would be Tilly and also the Friday Pattern Company. And she does do an offer of swatches, which I always find really useful because when you're buying on the internet, you can never be 100% sure what it would be like. So that's fantastic service. As I said, I went over and had a look. Hopefully I will run um, some photos or a little video here showing you some of the gorgeous fabrics she had on offer which of course made it so difficult. You know me, a bit of a magpie, love it all. But this one really jumped out at me. There was a couple of double gauzes and I very nearly asked for this one, but I saw the other one and it's a little Johnny double gauze and I just thought that is so me. And so I did in fact say, could I have a meter and a half of this? And it is called Ink Smudges, I believe. And it is this fabulous double gauze here. I mean, I love it. I mean, one thing I really like when it came is that it's got obviously the double gauze texture means it's wrinkled, but I don't know if you can see, it's not as wrinkled as some double gauzes. And in fact, this makes it really soft. So I love the feel of it. Of course, I love that pattern. It's so fab. I love all the colours. And I have decided I am going to make a Donny shirt with this. I think it will be fabulous. I am hoping that I'll get this sewn up before I edit and upload, this, upload the video. So if I do, I will let you know and I will probably pop it in at the end and you'll be able to see. If not, just take a look at the gorgeous fabric and imagine next time you see it, it's going to be a Donny shirt. So it was very kind of Lucy to offer me this fabric for free in return for mentioning their her wonderful website. You know me, I love finding new fabric stores. So I'd like to thank Lucy for the opportunity of me having this fabric and being able to work with it. Of course, I'm more than happy to share small businesses and I do love a good fabric business and I don't limit my fabric buying, as you know, to just one. I have favourites and I have certain places I'll go for certain fabrics, but I've bought fabrics from so many different websites and I can safely say I'll be adding Lucy to my list. I've already got my eye on a few other fabrics and so I'm sure you'll be seeing some in a fabric haul from me very soon. In the meantime, she's been very generous and giving any of you viewers out there a code and if you want to buy some fabrics from her website, which of course I will link below, I will also link her Instagram channel below for you. If you pop in the code HELEN10 right up till the 31st of October, you can use it as many times as you like to get 10% off your order. So, I mean, how fantastic is that? So, yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to share with you is this gorgeous fabric and also a new website to me. And if you don't know... I'm happy that I've shared it and I do hope you'll go and take a look and do make sure to take advantage of that code. Shop as many times as you like. Every time you use my code, you will get 10% off right up till the 31st of October. So the next thing I just wanted to quickly go through is a couple of purchases that I think I forgot in my previous video. Well, I didn't forget because this first one is the notebook cover that I mentioned the wonderful Adam Sews made. And it is this here and I think I want to say this is called her Lime Works. I'm not sure which um, fabric range this was. I'll double check. But it's got these gorgeous birds 
black and white but then those pops of colour in the hearts there and it's got a fabulous little strap on the front for holding your pen and then inside he's popped in a um, I think this is a A5 I'm not sure of sizes um, and it's got that lovely I don't know if you can see print on the inside on both the front the back and the front there and so yeah this is going to be my college book when I return in September. That's why I forgot it last time, because it was in my rucksack that I take to college. So that was another one of my wonderful purchases. As you know, I have a few of Adam's um, makes now, and if you are interested in looking to see what he does, as I say, I'll pop his website down below and you can go and check them out for yourself. The other thing I think I forgot to mention um, was a fabric that I got. I think probably I thought I'd mentioned it, and I apologise if I have but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm sharing it. If I'm sharing it again, blame my menopausal brain. <laughs> Memory like a sieve. So this purchase is wholly down to the wonderful Ruan, and she shared some fabrics from Rainbow Fabrics when they did a drop, I'm not sure when now, and she'd bought some of this. And like a lot of people have been saying recently, <laughs> I've noticed, it's not really my colouring, but I loved the print. I thought it was fabulous. I think I've got, let me just check. Yeah, I have two metres of this. It is a viscose chalet, which as I've been, I've been using quite a lot of those recently from Minerva for my makes for Jane at the Dressmaker's Closet. I know I do like viscose chalet to work with. And it is this amazing print here. So obviously it's Ruan, so it was animal print, <laughs> but it's got these gorgeous flowers all over it. And I think possibly the reason I didn't share with you when I first got it was that it was, it may even have been June when we had the really hot weather. I can't remember, but it was when I was dreaming of summer dresses and then the weather turned rubbish and I popped it away. So yeah, I got two metres of that from the guys at Rainbow Fabrics. I don't know if they've still got it because I think it was a while ago. And if you shop with them, you'll know their fabrics go quite quickly. But I wanted to share it with you before I forgot about it again. <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to share today is what I have been up to sewing recently. And you hopefully will have observed already. I finally made my blue banana Naya top. <laughs> so the Naya is this boxy oversized T-shirt from Tammy Handmade. And it was the wonderful Tamlin who got me onto this first. And I managed to pick it up when the Makerist had a $2 sale. And I hadn't made it until now, although I did make a toile, which I shared with you. I absolutely love this fabric. And I'll put a close-up shot um, of the bananas because my daughter thought they were feathers. But they are blue bananas. I love the fact that it's got this cuff which makes it a really easy sew because the front and the back are the same pattern piece. You have a pattern piece for the cuff and then a pattern piece for the neckband. So it's really quick to sew up and you could do it all on your overlocker. I used Mariflex thread for mine, which if you're not aware, it is a wonderful thread that's come on the market recently, which has a slight stretch. And it means when sewing with stretch fabrics, you don't need to do a zigzag. You can just do a straight stitch, which I find a game changer and I use it all the time. These cuffs, then you make up the cuffs, you fold them in half so they're ready made and literally stitch them on. So you only have to then put on a neckband and hem it. So, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, hopefully I'll get some photos or some video because I haven't done yet. I literally finished this hot off the press this morning and I wanted to share with you guys because I tend to not wear my makes until I've shared them. So I didn't want it to languish. I wanted to wear it. So this is the Naya top. One thing I do have to say about it, and I don't know if it's just me. I, I don't know if I've cut it wrong because on the photo of Tammy in hers, it looks uh, a decent length, but on me, I don't know if this is going to show, it's quite cropped. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know if I've done something wrong or if that actually is the length, but I don't like it too cropped. And so the next one I'm planning to make, I'm going to add um, an inch or an inch and a half to my pattern. And that being said, I just want to share with you 
what I do when I make a pattern and make decisions like that. If it's a PDF, I almost always get them printed by Fabuloso, as I did with this. So I have got the pattern pieces in there. I have got the size that I cut out written there and the seam allowance written there. And then if like this, I find there is something I don't want to be the same next time, there's a section at the bottom of their envelopes. And I think these envelopes are a pound when you buy a pattern from them. And so I just make a note. So I've just said that I want to add an inch or an inch and a half to my next one. I have some gorgeous fabrics for making some of these because that's another thing that is fantastic about this top. It uses very little fabric. This one was a metre and I have, I would say, quite a decent bit left. So it was a 150 wide and I knew I would easily get this top out of it. So, yeah, I've jumped on the Naya bandwagon. I know loads of people have been making them. Absolutely love a boxy fit T-shirt. And once I've made the adjustment to length, I can see me hopefully whipping up loads of these. And either this is going to be the end of my Friday sews, which is short and sweet for me, <laughs> or I will have hopefully made up the Donny and I'll be able to share that with you here. So it's either goodbye or it's to the next video clip. OK, so not up on Friday. It's actually Saturday now, <laughs> but I felt I couldn't leave the video on that unfinished note. I finished my Donny shirt, as you can see. And yeah, I love it. The fabric is so lovely. As I said before, it's not that really crinkly type of double gauze. It's got enough crinkle to give it some body and texture, but it's lovely and soft and really easy to work with. And I loved sewing this up. As you know, I've made a Donny before, so this is my second attempt. And I love how it turned out. My husband pointed out that I didn't pattern match at the front, which was a little annoying because I didn't even attempt to pattern match. But the fact that he noticed it oh, makes me think maybe I should have. But never mind, I didn't. And I'm going to love it, whether it's pattern matched or not. <laughs> so if you saw my previous Donny, I talked about the length of it and it being cropped. I did add uh, an inch and a half to this one. And I like where it sits. I did make it smaller than the size recommended for myself because it's quite an oversized shirt. And so I like the fact that this is more of um, not fitted, obviously, but it's not as oversized. <laughs> I made a boo-boo <laughs> in when I altered this. Oh, my God. Literally, it's like one of the last steps you do. If you've made the Donna, you know, you do all the sort of complicated putting together the collar and the facing and stitching all in correctly and I was really chuffed and one of the last things that I did was the back and literally it was when you come to put the sides together and stitch it together like I say it's one of the final steps my sides and I'll insert some photos to show you had a big gap the front came up way shorter than the back and I couldn't understand what I'd done but then it hit me. Let me show you. So when I altered my pattern piece and stuck it back together, honestly, I don't know where I was because what I've done on this back piece is I've stuck this bottom piece back on, back to front. <laughs> yeah, so where, you've <laughs> where you have it on the fold is the longest part because it will be the middle of the back. And this should be the side seam. But as you can hopefully see, this numpty <laughs> stuck it back together the wrong way so you should be able to see in the in the photos where the back is meant to have a low dip I actually had a high curve and the long bits were hanging down so that was fun <laughs> so basically I've just chopped it off so where it was at the highest point at that bit in the middle of the back cut it straight across so that it matches so the back doesn't have a dip at all and it's shorter than the front but nobody's going to pick me up on that so I honestly don't care but I did have to chuckle because I was so pleased with myself with altering it and how well it was coming together that uh, yeah to fall at the final hurdle <laughs> was quite funny um, but those are the things that happen in sewing if you sew regularly you'll know daft mistakes like that are made and as soon as I finished recording this I'm gonna stick this pattern piece on the correct way <laughs> so before I go luckily because this has been delayed 
gives me a quick chance to firstly obviously run through this fabric from Lucy, Lucy Lockett Fabrics is gorgeous. I am going to be buying the other little Johnny double gauze she had in the fruits that I showed you. I absolutely love it and I may well treat myself to a few other bits. Really great website. As I've said before, do go check her out and do not forget that right up till the end of October, you can use my code HELEN10 for 10% off as many times as you like. So that's fantastic. I think that's really lovely of Lucy to offer that. So yeah, do go check her out. As I say, everything I talk about, especially Lucy's website is linked below. A couple of things I will quickly sneak in, like I say, because it's later. Post has been since I thought I'd finished recording this. And don't tell me off, but <laughs> you remember the black tigers? Yeah, well, at 195 a metre, after Adele said she had this one as well, I couldn't resist. So I have got myself four metres of this in the cream to go with the black. And like I say, that was less than eight pounds. So don't shoot me. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> that was Pound Fabrics, in case you didn't see my previous haul. And lastly, the lovely Becky, who is what Beck sews, but also known now as Jazz and Wow over on Etsy. I ordered some earrings from her. And I'm not sure how well they'll show, so I may put in photo. But we have got these gorgeous ones. They actually match some buttons that I ordered from her a while ago. And I got them in the round and also in the hearts. And the lovely Becky was very kind and she popped in a little something extra for me, which hopefully I'll get a photo. They are the most fabulous earrings. So thank you, Becky. That is lovely. And I will not be stopping buying buttons or earrings from her anytime soon. If you haven't checked her out, do make sure to go on over and check her out. In fact, I think, yeah, I think these are Becky's that I'm wearing today as well. So that is it now and it will not go up on a Friday yet again but I am hoping it'll be a Saturday and not a Sunday. I do hope you've enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up and obviously if you enjoy my channel and aren't yet subscribed I'd love it if you could subscribe and of course do hope you've managed to do something sewing or sewing related and I will catch you all in my next video.